everybody in today's lesson I'll be showing you how to create your first desktop application we all know what a desktop application is we've all downloaded them from the web a hundred times and installed them on our hard drive and we use them from our computer that's what it is it's just a program that you can create that you can put on the web that people can download and use and install on their hard drive and use on their machines whether they're connected to the web or not just like a des any desktop application, game, or anything like that. comes with installer package and everything. I'm going to show you all that stuff. How to create the installer package, how to get the file settings set up on a basic level just for this opener tutorial. <clears throat> and then we'll delve into more advanced things later on. So first thing we're going to do is create a flash file Adobe Air. Okay, so now once we're in an Air file, You'll notice we have Air Settings button here, Edit, that we can use. But first thing, we'll just go ahead and drag out the background here, Rectangle Primitive. Make it a nice light color. Okay, now I'm going to drag out a button component. Just make a very basic application. Let's call it develop PHP data stream. I think I'm going to make my own little nice application using data streams from my site. People can put on their machine if they want. gonna have to be really cool though if I do it okay so now let's pop a little code in here that's gonna to connect to this button but first let's give an instance name to this button dev PHP underscore BTN so here's the little application that we're gonna let people download and put on their machine and you're watching me make it so you, you can see there's no security risks in the program that I'm creating here let's see uh, da, 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 let's make a new layer for the action script so now we have an instance name on that button develop PHP right there and we can also let's make it have a label so let's grab that instance name and change the label on that button programmatically label is equal to in between double quotes we'll put develop PHP that way when the file renders it'll say develop PHP and not the word label on that okay now we're all good to go we can <clears throat> let's see untitled let's save this as on the desktop or anywhere you want you create a new folder let's call it air test and inside of that let's name this file develop php data stream save okay so say you have your application all done and it does great wonderful things and you want to deliver it to people and have them be able to download it and put it on their computer and use it so all kind of cool applications you can make especially in flash and they can connect to the web that's the special thing here so what we'll do is click the air settings edit button here and watch how easy this is well just for this simple demo I'm not gonna fill out much here everything I'm just leaving default system chrome that's fine now I'm gonna press publish air file Now it's looking for a certificate, sign in the air file with digital certificate, and I don't have one, so I'm going to create one. Publisher name is Adam Cody. <coughs> Organization unit one. Organization name Flash Building. Country U.S. Password. 
confirm your password. You can uh, change the type and we'll dig into more about all these options in later tutorials but I don't want to take up too much time here. I want to show you just the basics. So now we're going to save this as let's go to our desktop that air test folder press OK. Now it'll put it in that air test folder as mycert.p12 it's a p12 file press OK uh, self-signed certificate has been created OK now we put in our password right here the one we just created and you can remember password for this session press OK air file has been created OK now at this point let's press OK there that's it you've done it let's see let's go to air test that folder right there double click inside of it and you can see all of the things that it gave us here's our my cert our certificate we created the SWF the FLA source and here's an XML file now here is the installer this is what you would put on the web to let people download to install on their machine so say they download it from the web let's go ahead and copy it they download it from the web and they put it on their desktop and they double click it it gives you a nice flash based flash player based installer let's see yeah we'll go over all these other settings to get all of the publisher and the uh, system access and all these settings just the way we need them in later tutorials but for now let's install it to our machine I trust me <laughs> okay so add shortcut I yep we'll add shortcut to desktop the icon and we'll start the application after install and I'm just gonna put it on my D drive <coughs> no programs on C drive okay so program files okay continue it installs the application and it opens it up in a nice window and you can set the parameters for these windows and now they have the application and let me just close it and show you there's the little icon see develop PHP data stream it's a program on my computer now away from the web you know but it can connect to the web let me show you I'm gonna hit this little button booyah baby it opens up any site any page that you want it to it'll connect to any scripts that you need it to and you just have to be a trusted publisher <clears throat> or people have to know you and trust you, you know. And people know me and trust me, so if I make an application, I think people would use it. But I'm going to have my uh, everything top notch. I want to show you one more thing. And everybody kind of knows about it, but let's go to our control panel, add or remove programs, and just to show you how nice it works. Well, before I do that, let's go to the Start menu. See how it says New Program Installed, and there it is. Develop PHP Data Stream. I can open it up. Ta-da! Okay, so now we can go here to our Control Panel and delete it. Remove it from our system. Remove the program completely. Develop PHP Data Stream. Remove. And there's a ton a ton 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 of settings and scripts and ways that you can communicate with a person's computer and their system and also the web concerning your your air files your air applications and you know zbrush a lot of you guys know zbrush zbrush is a hundred percent flash application so whoever made it made it in flash and the installer I think everything's flash on it they might have even made it with an air type application okay so that shows you the basics just the very basics of creating your first desktop application that people can download and install in their machines have a ball with it <laughs>